Albert! Wake up, we've got work to do! What is going on? Put on your glasses and this lab coat! This is a maid outfit. We're doing science! I'm interested. How's it going guys, guys and only pals? I'm Alice in Wonderland, your favourite Kiwi trans girl, and this is Albert, your favourite Kiwi bi guy. And today, there is important work to do. And just what is this work we're going to do, Albert? You still haven't told me. That's correct, Albert. Sergeant Brickley and I have discovered a deficit in our army. An information deficit. Albert, what is this information deficit? Well, clearly you have an issue with command structure. I mean, there are identifiable weak spots in your logistical structure. Most of the fanboys, for instance, can only communicate via meowing. Talking about? You asked me to put it. You're supposed to talk about the weapons so that I can segue into the tier list. How was I supposed to know that? Did you not read the script? The script? Check your pocket. Your other pocket. Oh. So we have many different weapons, all of varying capability and use cases. Take, for example, this Revoltinator. A pretty standard semi-automatic flywheel powered rifle, and it has an 18 round capacity. Or well, this triad, very small and handy firearm, that packs a punch in a small form factor. All of these weapons have their own quirks and uses, so we really have a lot to choose from. Today we're going to go through our armory, and determine which weapons are best suited to become standard issue in the queer army. We will need the best if we're going to take on Ohio. This video is long overdue. Let's start small. This is a jolt. It's about as small as they come. Single shot, compact, emergency sidearm. It's also a tremendous meme. The Talon. Revenge! That was a much bigger dart. Pretty much the same as a Jolt, except it instead fires mega rounds. High caliber and much harder hitting. If I hit. Think of this as the Deagle of Nerf handguns. What the f*** is this? That is a flip fury. It is one of the most bizarre weapons I've ever seen. It's a 12 round capacity revolver. However, that makes it much too large to be an effective sidearm. <laughs> Just let my d Let's take a look at a smaller revolver. The hammer shot. It's supposed to be my turn! <laughs> it's small, has a five round capacity, and it can be fired using only one hand. Which means you could theoretically dual wield them. A very strong candidate indeed. The Triad. Take that, you bastard! You deserved everything! Woo! The Triad is a three shot jolt. Very small form factor. And now you will pay the price for your insolence. <laughs> the Cyclone Shock. A massive six round revolver that fires mega darts. A real piece of kit. There's a reason this has been my go to for months. Whenever I've needed to intimidate the viewer, think of it as the 44 Magnum of the Nerf world. We're getting into bigger weapons now. Should I be concerned? Yes. I accept my fate! Pump action, a big old drum. Pretty meh, but it looks very cool, so it does get style points. But in the way of primary weapons for our quiz to take into battle, it doesn't have much going for it. No, not really. Let's take a look at some more primaries. That's kind of a terrifying sight. Yes. High marks. The Raider. Now we're starting to get into magazine primaries. This one is supposed to come with a 35 round drum, but it is f***ed, so instead it comes standard issue with an 18 round mag. Rat strike. Supposed to be a sniper rifle, but performance is pretty mid, as the kids would say. Alpha Hawk. Slightly smaller than the Raptor Strike, and performance is even more mid. But it gets points for being more lightweight and also cool factor because it has this fun little revolver spinny reload mechanism. Look! I feel like that's <laughs> gonna distract the Catboy a bit too much. Possibly. That's not even a gun. <laughs> that did actually hurt. Disqualified for not being a gun, but it was fun. Hey, that rhymed. Shut the f up. That's awesome. 
It's just badass, and I feel like the Terminator. Hi, Marks. Looks count for a lot in the queer army. Oh yes. Now we're getting into the proper weapons. We've entered the realm of battery power. I regret nothing! What can we say? It shoots relatively fast. It's accurate. It sits well in the hands. Got an 18 round capacity. Solid. Solid infantry rifle, this one. I'm not gonna enjoy this, am I? It's a little bit shit at the moment, and it's running out of battery. But it is also the coolest looking nerf gun ever made, and I'm going to task Sergeant Brickley, our head of weapons research, with performing some queer army specific modifications. And I'm sure after that, it will be the ultimate weapon. Sure, but for now it's a bit shit. Yeah. Now this is what I'm talking about. Hard to beat this one. It is definitely the best nerf gun I have, technically. Shoots the fastest, farthest, the most accurately. It has burst fire, which is sick as f**k. And will come standard issue with an 18 round mag. Turbine. Vengeance! Looks like an SMG, and it shoots fast. What more do you want? Power. Oh yeah. Oh dear. doing? I'm waiting for a loser to come around the corner so that I can shoot him. I see. Uh, say, uh, could you go into the kitchen and just like get a spoon? Yeah, sure. It's just a cool sniper rifle. I think we've done enough testing for today. Al Albert, come on. You dare threaten me with my own weapon of mass destruction? <laughs> that thing is intimidating as fuck, even if it doesn't shoot as hard as it should. And that also genuinely hurt. Sergeant Brickley removed the air restrictor. Oh, hubris. Anyway, the Centurion- Like Icarus! Alice. I have flown too close to the sun. I had Brickley all this time making powerful weapons. Never once did I imagine that they might be turned on me. Are you done? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, the Centurion. A huge high caliber rifle that looks awesome and intimidating as Welcome to the Alice in Wonderland Halftime Show. I'm your host, Alice in Wonderland, and today we're going to- ah! Did I scare you? I know I did. I tend to have that effect on people. If you got scared, congratulations, you just won the Halftime Show. I'm just kidding, you're pathetic. <laughs> uh, it's actually kind of sad. Anyway, today we have something very interesting to say. I would like to introduce you to Patrick. He is a wolf, and he is joining our collective. I'm sorry. Thank you to third in line. We've got another one coming next week as well. Just... You f***ing do you have the audacity. And I suppose right now this can serve as a little bit of a reminder that for a limited time only, I'm introducing new characters to the channel in the form of stuffed animals in honor of those who donate a cumulative 100 bubble teas or more. Yeah, no, and I have... I haven't forgotten about that, okay? I just haven't... You disgust me. It's been taking me a little bit to settle back into New Zealand, so I haven't really recorded any new videos, but once I do, I will do that. Just wait, it'll be a couple weeks away. But anyway, it is now time to thank our Buy Me A Coffee supporters. Good boy. Do you have anything to say to the camera, Patrick?
Thank you to someone, thank you to Bob, thank you to Stuart, thank you to Stuart again, and thank you to Holy Cow 360 Reminder that if you want to support my channel, my Buy Me A Coffee link is in the description. And with that, back to your scheduled programming, you peons. Anyway, we've now gone through all of my Nerf guns. Except for the big secret one. Except for the big secret one that we're not going to talk about because it will attract investigations by the United Nations. Now it's time to figure out what weapons we're going to equip our troops with. Yes, now for this we've subdivided our troops into three categories of infantry. Standard infantry, urban slash close range infantry, and snipers. Now of course, before we dive into this we need to explain our uniform. The standard uniform is a maid outfit, and all other uniforms are a variation of that. We have maid outfits that are extra feminine, we have some that are gender neutral, and even some that are extra masculine. Dress uniforms are the standard black with white, however field uniforms are camouflaged. Let's start with our coir snipers. In terms of uniform, they may also be given a ghillie suit. The ceremonial ghillie suit is actually made of rainbow pipe cleaners. Gay! The standard issue sidearm for the snipers is the triad. It's small and compact, so it won't get in their way when they're wriggling into tight spaces. It has a relatively high capacity for, as an emergency pistol, three rounds, which means they'll be well capable of defending themselves if their position is revealed or if they're snuck up on. And for their standard issue primary, you guessed it, the long strike. It's a long and intimidating rifle that comes with a scope. It looks the part, and it just has cool factor. We're gonna have the coolest looking snipers in the battlefield. It's not actually about looking cool. SILENCE PEON! And now for our tactical urban infantry units. And they have special requirements. As they tend to be fighting in closer ranges, accuracy is less important and the sheer number of bullets flung takes precedence. Because of that we will be selecting a fully automatic blaster to equip them with. But for starters they will be issued with a hammer shot. It fires fast, it can be fired in one hand, and it has a five round capacity. And now for the tricky part. We have two very good automatic weapons. The Regulator. And the Turbine. The Regulator is better in every conceivable way, but the Turbine looks really badass. It looks like an actual SMG. And it's slightly more compact. It gets my vote. I think I'm gonna vote- Your vote doesn't matter. But this is not a democracy. And lastly, our standard infantry unit. You'll know what's coming. It's the two Nerf guns I've featured the most in all of my videos. Our standard infantry are high caliber focused, aiming for long ranges and sheer firepower. It is magnificent. It is... The Cyclone Shock. And this fucking enormous intimidating beast of a thing. You cannot look at this thing and not immediately piss your pants. I just did. You just pissed your pants? No, I looked at it and didn't immediately piss my pants. Oh, right. Yeah, there was a small delay. So, there you have it, folks. We have organized the loadout of our standard queer infantry. Our snipers are armed with the triad and the long strike. Our urban teams, the hammer shot and the turbine. And our main infantry with cyclone shocks and centurions. A pretty well measured. And most importantly, very badass looking armory. Because as we know, for queers, it's fashion over function. The aim is psychological warfare. Yes, Albert. If we can terrify them into surrendering, the moment they see our infantry, that's a more effective victory than any firepower will ever provide. An apt observation. And on that bombshell, it's time to end. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Leave a comment if you're extra cool, and ring the bell if you're feeling extra, extra cool. If you want to support my channel and help me pay for surgery, there's a link in my description to donate and keep the channel alive. See you in the next one. Well, I mean, you might not, but I definitely will.